Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a plan with me and it's going to be for the week of May 18th through the 24th, which is my last week of school really. We got a couple work days on this next week, but we're pretty much going to wrap up the semester this week, which is exciting. It feels very weird because it doesn't feel real because we're not at school, but that's all right. I'm using this fun kit from Scribble Prince Co. called K. It is based on Kirsten, who works for SPC. There she is right there. And I have the Ultimate Kit, which I normally do not buy, but I was just feeling like it. I really love the colors, and there are a bunch of extra boxes in this spread, but I do have some things to add to this because... I got one of the little oops bags like randomly put into my, I think it's just like a rack. They put into my order like way back. These sheets were before they reformatted. So this is the new format and this is the old format. So I guess they like, I don't know, I'm guessing did some test runs or something and then decided to reformat. But there are some things in this format that I have that I could totally use. So this page was reformatted, but it has the Erin Condren planner, which I think all of the SPC people have switched over to the cloud, which I don't use the cloud. It's rings are just not my thing. So I'm really glad that I have the little Erin um, Condren planner there. And then it's also in the deco, which I want to use across the top. I think that'll be really cute. And then I just have some extra boxes. So I have a page of extra boxes here. And I just have some extra things to work with, which is nice. And yeah, that's why I bought this kit was to basically get all of the things to match what I already had. So I think we're ready to jump right into this. There is nothing going on this week besides wrapping up school. Nothing exciting I don't think yeah it's just the last day of school so let's jump right in we're gonna start with this cool bottom washi it's got this interesting pattern on it that I really like and the colors I'm gonna mention it like 15 times but I really like the colors in this kit I think they're super fun I am whiting out pretty much all of the lines because the little pink parts of the bottom washi will kind of like show through so well the lines will show through those parts so I'm pretty much getting rid of all of the lines and then putting down my bottom washi on the second line and getting rid of the hexagons and then for glitter headers I'm going to use these um I don't even know what color this is it's like a dark teal it's really pretty and um just putting those down up at the top And then in lieu of date covers, I'm gonna use the deco and I'm gonna use both sheets that I have. So I have multiple sheets of this kit. I have like so much because I have the rack sheets plus the kit and the rack sheets actually are in older format and they have different stuff on them. So I'm using like the old planner from the rack sheet and then some different things from the newer one. The deco is super cute. I'm not like completely lined up with Kirsten's style of like dress and even her book topics, but I think that the overall like aesthetic of this kit is very like me. I love these colors. Kind of makes me want to redo my bedroom, although I do love my bedroom. It's like an oasis. All right, so we have that done and then we're going to move on to the sidebar and set that up. So for my little quote box area, after I get rid of the hexagon, is this little phone with the Dunkin' Donuts. I've actually never had Dunkin' Donuts coffee and I'm not a donuts person. I know that's super weird, but I just, I hate donuts. So Dunkin' is not really my thing, but I do love coffee and I do love shopping for planner stuff on my phone. So I think that's appropriate. And then for my weekly cleaning list from Nikki plus three, I chose a peach one, which matches the kit really well. And then I'm going to start with the this week header up at the top along with the checklist. I cut off one heart 
The thing that is missing from the mini kit for me is this checklist, and I hope that that's a change that happens in the future. I don't know if it will or not, but it would be really, really nice to have just one little solid checklist there. So I'm putting in two habit trackers. So I am still tracking the same two things. I promise I'm going to switch it up next week a little bit, but I'm tracking reading every day and closing my Apple Watch rings. Every week I get a question about what does it mean closing your rings? I have an Apple Watch and there's three goals, moving, standing for 12 hours, and well, one minute every 12 hours, and then um, exercise for 30 minutes. So if you close all of those rings, that means you met your daily goals. So I hope that helps and explains kind of what that meant because like I said, I get that question every week. And then I'm just pulling out some things for school. This was the last week of school and I'm really loving how I've been marking it. So I pulled out four school headers from, or I should say like scripts, stickers from um, Virgo on Paper. And then from the school sheet from Virgo on Paper, I picked the last day of school. Now here I'm putting in my morning workout boxes. Kind of switched it up this week. And for the most part, it really worked. Too bad it was the last week of this particular style with the school and everything, but finally figured it out. And I've been really enjoying marking school with the a cute little character sticker and these school labels. I think it is adorable. So this week I'm using the work from home, but with a cat sheet from... Um, Once More With Love. I think those are so cute. Some of them the cat is like annoying the munchkin and then in some it's like being helpful and cute. And then for the last day I chose a teacher munchkin from Once More With Love. I just thought why not? Let's throw it in there. I think that looks so cute and uniform. So I'm just putting in those underneath the morning workouts. Now Monday through Wednesday's workouts were actually yard work. I had to dig out a flower bed in the front of my house around my big window, and it was a lot of work. And yes, I totally counted it as a workout. If you choose like functional training or other goal on the exercise part of the watch, then it totally like tracks your heart rate and everything. And that's what I did those days for my workouts. So I'm just putting in some full boxes now and I wanted to be sure to use several of them so I'm putting in my favorites first. So I've got the cute little planner on Tuesday, the stack of books on Sunday. I am currently reading the new Hunger Games book. It's like the prequel book that is like about President Snow's childhood and like how he got to be president is kind of, I'm, I'm one of those skippers to the end and read the last pages kind of person. And I haven't yet. So I can't tell you the whole story, obviously. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't spoil it for you, but it's really interesting so far and I'm really liking it. I'm about like 150 pages in, so I should finish it in the next week or so. I really only read it at night. So it takes me a while to finish a book unless it's just like a random afternoon. All right, back to the spread. So uh, for my videos this week, I'm using um, these labels and I had plenty because I had so many sheets of this kit. So I put that down at the bottom and then I put in a checklist here, just adding a couple of things to the checklist. And then this is for my afternoon workout. I have been working out morning and afternoon, Monday through Thursday. I think that I will maybe step it up now that summer is here because the quarantine got me and I just, I need to, I need to do some more. And I also need to, um, I don't know. It's a process <laughs> that we're figuring out. No one's ever been through this in our generation. So I'm trying to give myself grace and also like still give myself structure. So we're trying to find that balance. All right, on Tuesday, I just have a little thing there to mark my Blue Apron order coming in. 
and then there we go. And then that label underneath that is for my workout for the afternoon of Tuesday. And I'm just adding in another afternoon workout label there. On Wednesday. And then I wanted to mark here that I was putting in a greenhouse order. I wasn't putting it in. I went to the greenhouse. I actually went to two because one was like completely sold out of everything. And no one was socially distancing or wearing a mask. So I got out of there for multiple reasons very quickly and went to my favorite but expensive greenhouse and spent way too much money on plants. But it was super fun. I actually spent like an hour in there walking around, sweating my ass off with my mask and just like being in the greenhouse, <laughs> choosing plants for my gardens. It's It was great. And then on Thursday, I'm going to put in a quick little checklist here. I love that blue green color. It's like a really pretty color. And then this label here is for my afternoon workout. No, it's not. It's for meal planning. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in an, a solid label for my workout. There we go. Which my afternoon workouts this week were pretty much walks. All of them, I think. It's been kind of my favorite thing. I've gone for a walk every single day since um, like the end of March. And I've walked like 200 and something miles, which I feel really proud about and I feel really good about. And I want to continue walking. I think it's really good for my body. My chiropractor said it's it's better than running for me. So I love it. All right, I'm just putting down some boxes because we'll fill those in later. And then this box on Saturday right here is for my Saturday morning workout, which was a walk, a long one. If I hit it really hard in the morning, then I will take a shorter walk in the afternoon. But, or if it's like really hot, I just can't handle it. So I think I might switch my walks and do my walks in the morning and then my harder workout in the afternoon. We'll see. This is just an experiment. Um, I'm just filling in with some labels and checklists and all of that boring stuff. My weekends have been pretty uniform and the same, which I guess is good. I mean, I know what to do and we're doing it. Also taking time to like relax and things like that. So this label here is to fill out my wellness log, which I will tell you I did not do. I'm neglecting my wellness log again, but I am meal planning and I am logging my workouts in this planner. So I feel okay about it. Like if I feel the need to go back to my wellness log, it's there. I can always pick it up. But for now, I just kind of want to focus on the actual action of the workouts rather than the logging, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna film on Sunday, which I did. And I'm just filling in my little checklist here. Ooh, that's a lot of sticker sheets to work with, but I'm really excited to see how this turns out. It's so cute. I really love the colors. Like it's just an interesting combo and it's just adorable. So I will be back in a second to show you the finished spread. So here is my finished spread. I just need to finish up some things around the house today and I'm going to cook and clean the kitchen this evening. I'm going to go for a walk after I finish filming in a, probably about an hour and I'm going to water also and do some editing. So I have kind of a full day of just like housekeeping and editing stuff, but it'll be good. It's nice to have a kind of calm and lazy Sunday sometimes. It's just a good way to start the next week in most cases, especially since Monday's a holiday. I don't have any plans for the holiday. Well, I don't know if it's really a holiday. It's a day of remembrance, but um, 
I don't have any plans for that day, so it's probably just going to be a regular Monday for me. But this was a really good week. We, this was our last week of school, so it was a lot of emotions this week with, like, dealing with the end of the school year and it ending not how anyone wanted it to end. But I did get to watch graduation on Saturday morning. I didn't add that in in my pre-planning because I didn't know exactly when it would be. I thought it would be at the regular time, but I didn't know for sure. So I did add that in. Later, I had some pizza last night, and that was delicious. And it was a good week. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I did a lot in my garden. As you can see, every pretty much every day I spent some time working in um, building this bed. I had to dig it out. It took me forever because it was like just a lot of dirt, <laughs> but it was worth it. I think next year my lawn and my garden will look just like really good. So I'm excited about that. And it's just watering, watering, watering. I did add it on every day, but I'm going to do a habit tracker next week so that I remember to water uh, the grass that I have planted and my new garden. So let me show you what I have left in the kit. Now, <laughs> everything got all mixed up. So I don't know what pages were from the kit and from the extra pages I got in the rack. So I'm just going to show it all to you. There is definitely enough here for another spread, if not two more spreads. I really, really liked the colors and the artwork in this and the patterns. Just really fun and cool. I'm going to keep this because it's got some little peach glitter headers I can still use. Just a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I tried to use as much as I could, and I tried not to bring in anything extra this week except for characters. So, yeah. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. But I really enjoyed this spread, and I hope that you did too. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Tell me how your week went, and was it... Um, especially if you're a teacher, was it everything that you wanted it to be? Or if you're not out of school yet, like, what are y'all doing? Are you still distance learning? What's going on? I want to know. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.